It's Open Line Friday, El Rushbo to Galveston. This is uh, Larson. Larson, thanks for waiting. Great to have you here. Oh, it's nice to be on with you, Rush. I have been listening to you for years and years, and uh, it's a bright spot, three hours in most of my days. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that and understand it. Okay, so here's my here's my uh, point. I saw Mitt's speech last night and was absolutely blown away by it. I thought it was a wonderful speech, and two things went through my mind as I wa- watched that speech. I heard the, um, the American exceptionalism being trumpeted, and I absolutely loved it. And it felt like you could be allowed to, again to love America. And that took me back then uh, to when I was in fifth grade, and because I'm a year younger than you are, and um, when I was in fifth grade was the year President Kennedy was shot. And I remember I was in the principal's office, um, well, not for that reason, as I think probably my mom was coming to pick me up for a uh, doctor's appointment. So anyway, I was in there. Well, I guess the president, news of the president uh, had just come across uh, the wire, and my principal came out and just told everybody that some damn right-winger just shot the president and i was just i was kind of stunned i come it's amazing how things don't change i know isn't it amazing you probably are going to continue to tell me stories about your teachers for telling you how rotten the country was even back in the 60s my teachers didn't but and 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 our principal didn't come out and 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 say that right winger but we weren't in texas either but how about the Times Square diaper bomber, underwear, whatever it was, and Mayor Doomberg goes up, yeah, it's probably somebody, some Tea Party freak It doesn't like Obama's health care plan. And we find out it was a legitimate Islamofascist. And a legitimate, I mean, we have real enemies. But yeah, I'll tell you something, Larson, and don't doubt me on this, to, to, to the Democrat Party today, there's no greater enemy than the Republican conservative, no greater enemy than conservative, no greater enemy than the Tea Party. They fear us, and they are singularly united on defeating us more than anything else in their world.